Big thanks to George Parrish and son Skip Hire of Manchester who've supported me on this trip. So today's vlog, you could say the first match day vlog of the new season, starts here in Chicago outside the Fremont, uh, which is on, I can't remember the name of the street now, but anyway, it's in Chicago, that's all you need to know. And in there are going to be Paul Dickoff, I believe, and Mike Summerby, and a whole load of City fans. Some of them have come over from Manchester, some of them are local. I'm going to mingle, chat to them, I think the trophies might be in there as well. And then a little bit later on, we'll be heading down to the game and talking to whoever I find along the way, much as I do on any match day vlog. So let's start by going into the Fremont. Sacramento, California. So you come just for this game, or yeah. are you doing all three? Uh, Chicago and New York. Last summer, I went to Houston and LA. So what do you make of this? The club of uh, put on a do for everybody. It's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, because yeah, it's just unreal. I mean, because especially because real, it's not just meeting like going to the games, but meeting other fans just like you from all over. It's beautiful. to Manchester. Well, when you go there like four to five times, you've got to shake it up a bit. Right. <laughs> well, we're the Orange County Blues. I'm Steve. Um, we're here in, Cal in, no, we're not California. We've come from California. We are here for three days to watch the game. Um, we're, we're, we're not going to Miami or New York, but we're here supporting the Blues for a couple of days. Live from Los Angeles. Sounding like a Mancunian. And here's my good friend. <laughs> what are you expecting from the game tonight? Uh, a lot of new faces. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, a couple of the Dortmund players as well. Uh, looking forward to seeing Mares, of course. Super excited about Sane uh, and Laporte. Uh, yeah, and of course, Phil Foden. Um, just looking to see some new faces. A little bit disappointed that superstars are not here. It's definitely interesting to see some new faces. I'm originally from uh, London. Moved to Manchester in the 60s. First game in 67. Moved to Chicago 26 years ago. And to meet all these guys from Manchester and around and from all over the country, it's great. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. What do you make of the change in city over the years? I've been a bit removed from it for a while, but since we started televising all the games here in the US, it's kind of made it more accessible for me again which is great go back to the days of when i used to go to main road and sit in the rain and the mud and what have you uh, and to see my team playing again over here I, th I think it's great absolutely love it and just meeting everyone it's great worldwide expansion i'm in favor but i can see the downside you know miss miss i gotta get back to the other hand never been to the other hand like to get back and see what it's like to see a game again in Manchester. How important is it that City get a good result tonight? Is that not important? No, 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 it's not important at all. But I think, I think that people are going to get a bit of shock seeing these boys play because they play well. And Pep's been with us for a week before we came here, and I think they're really geared up to go. So. Really excited to watch. I'm excited for it. Enjoy. Uh -oh. 
amazing city. You know, before I came, a lot of people that I know from the States, places I've been to, Chicago's one of the best, and it's not failed to disappoint. You know, look at all the city fans that are here today, it's amazing. You've got two more cities to go as well, yeah? How do you do it? Because you must have end like, you had endless energy as a player. You've obviously still got it. Absolutely, look, I'm a lucky boy representing the club that I love. Um, going to all these different cities and, um, you know, coming along with the first team squad. It's, it's a real privilege for me. And you're doing a Q&A next, aren't you? Yeah, with my granddad, Mr. Summerbury. So, um, <laughs> no, it'll be good fun. We're turning into a little double act here, so it'll be good. We found out the other night at Wrigley Field that you might have another sports career in baseball. So, amazing first pitch, what was that experience like? Uh, it was fantastic, very honoured and lucky to do it. What I've got to say is I was absolutely bricking it, having to go up there and do it. Um, and to throw Brickley Field with all the history that surrounds the stadium and the Cubs, to go up there and, and actually nail the first time as well was very good. Thank you so much everyone for coming out and we'll see you at home. I had no idea it was going to be the honest. I'm just so surprised. And when they said uh, Jay Zeus and Kyle Walker, I I was thinking Jay Zeus the entire time. Like I went Jay Zeus, and it just I guess it just happened to be true. So what are you going to do with it? Uh, probably hanging in my room, a bunch of with my other Manchester City stuff. I'm really excited. Well, am I still looking at it? Yeah. Well done. Yeah, winning ticket right there. Winning ticket. Thank you. Well done. It's great, but you never forget your where you come from, you know what I mean? We're not United, we're not Liverpool, we're Manchester City. Simply Manchester City. And what are you expecting tonight? A drubbing. Can't see us um, getting much, I think, uh, with the, the young kids, it'll be interesting, but I think probably 2-0 to them, truthfully. I hope you're wrong. Well, I hope I am myself, like, but I, I just think they're going to be a little bit more mature. We're going to have a lot of young lads playing. Well, you never know with City. Well, I'm a City fan because I never liked any American sport before. Didn't give a shit about American football, didn't give a shit about baseball, didn't give a shit about uh, what is basketball. But I watched soccer for the first time with my boyfriend who's a Mancunian and oh my god, I fell in love with the sport. So obviously by default, now my team is City and I got lucky as hell that it was this year. And he got lucky as hell that this is the first year he lives in Chicago and this is the first time that they come over here and play on Chicago soil. My brother went to Manchester playing a tournament in 1998 and all of his friends were buying Manchester United gear and he's a contrarian so he went and he found the sky blue jersey that was tucked away in the back corner and he bought one of those, took it home and was like, this is my team now. I was his younger brother, I absorbed the team too. Been watching since 2000 or so, finding legal internet streams and all of a sudden the team becomes incredible international and I get to see him in my city. It's amazing. How's that? Right. Have a safe trip back home. How do you say? Uh, we've been looking forward to it for a long time. As soon as the game got announced, we couldn't wait to, uh, to come see. We brought the whole family, all five of us here, to, to watch the game. So big supporters, big fans. And the club have obviously gone to a lot of trouble to put all this extra entertainment on, haven't they? It is. It's really nice. It's really nice for the kids and really nice for the fans and uh, really great, great pregame atmosphere. So it's really great. Well, it's awesome. Uh, first time here in Chicago, so enjoying the city. And yeah, this is great. This is great. Can't wait to take pictures with the trophy. So yeah. Where do you come from then? Oh, we come from Canada. Windsor, Ontario, Canada, yeah. Wow, quite a long journey down there. Uh, not too bad, we took the train here, a couple, uh, four hours, so it wasn't too bad. And how did you come to become a city fan? Um, I kind of just enjoy the atmosphere. I don't know much about the game, but it's kind of nice here. It kind of rubs it on me, I, 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 I brought it into the game. So she hears me every morning, every Saturday morning yelling, getting all frustrated, but yeah, she, she's in there, yeah. Well, the good signs are at the moment, nothing much to be frustrated about. It. No, no, not, not at all. No, no. Uh, waiting for the upcoming season. Can't wait. So it should be a good uh, season. A lot of teams uh, revamped, you know, so it's going to be good. It should be a good, exciting season for us. Yeah. So here we are inside the stadium. It's not too far away from kickoff. You can see all the fans behind me as well. And I think they're getting pretty excited. So let's go and gauge the excitement here in the stand in Chicago. Last 
where they are, the city teams in front of you. How excited are you on a scale of one to ten? I'm losing my mind. I mean, I never thought City would come to Chicago. I, I'm so excited. I've been excited for months, ever since this was announced. Does it matter to you tonight? They win all unbelievable. No! No, I'm still going to have a good time. I really want City to win. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, so it'll matter a little bit, but this, being with all the North American fans, people that came over from the UK, all the way from Australia, all these folks, it's enough. It's enough for me. It's great. Get it? Get it? I'm getting. I'm getting. Right. And if we lose, I won't be gutted. How about that? <laughs> hey, Cheesy. Are you looking forward to this then? Oh, unbelievable to have them in their backyard. This, just to have them here, this, this, this is all I look forward to, really. Have you got butterflies? Yeah, not really butterflies. I, there's a little bit of anxiety to see the young guys hopefully perform well. But other than that, just happy to have them here. This is great. You're very lucky because you see Mares make his first appearance for City. Yeah, it's true. It's, it'll be interesting to see how he blends in. Although it's still the young guys, but it'll be it'll be so good to see him uh, run down the wing. We saw that with Kyle Walker last year. He did, he debuted in the U.S. as well. So it's just a lot of fun to be able to see them be part of Man City for the first time on our pitch. From your end. Well, I was working here this week. Yeah, I was here on business, so it's just a happy coincidence, really. Have you not engineered this? I, well, you could say that, yeah. yeah. How special is it to see your team here, then? It's fantastic. Home of the Blues, huh? Chicago. You're going to win? Um, yeah, I think we probably will, actually, yeah. First half, how did the game go? Well, Mares had the best chance with a free kick, which was from the wrong side, really, for a left footed player. Great save by the keeper. At the other end, it was a penalty. Zinchenko bringing down his opponent. It was actually the American who's in the Dortmund team, one of the reasons why they're so popular here. And the penalty was dispatched by Mario Goetze, who didn't make the World Cup squad, but he's normally a German international. It was a, a funny looking team in that first half. I suspect there'll be a lot of personnel changes at half time. And maybe we'll see Leroy Sane, Joe Hart, and the like. But we'll see. Half time, 1 0 to Dortmund. First half was fun. You got to see a lot of academy kids out there. Phil Foden's exciting to watch. Uh, Zinchenko's getting skinned a little bit, so hopefully he can turn it around. I'm disappointed in the result, but I, I, I'm City till I die, so I, I, I love, I, I bleed sky blue, and I love the cities. I'm a die-hard City fan, um, and, and, and I love them all. I can't wait for, uh, for a repeat championship in the Premier League, and uh, hopefully we get some uh, Champions League glory this year. Uh, it was so nice, but I wanted to see more stars in the game. We didn't have enough stars, so the game was kind of slow on our side, but on their side they had a lot of stars playing, so they played really well and I thought we needed to change, like do the substitution before that, uh, but overall I enjoyed it, it was so nice. I loved it, I loved it. When I became a fan we weren't doing that great, so this is nothing. Um, it's, it's great to be around the fans and that's really what it's all about. You know, it's kind of hard to gauge from a macro perspective just because we had a lot of young talent. Um, you know, we, you know, Mara is exciting for the crowd to see him get some minutes. Uh, you know, good to swap him out with Sane to get some minutes in the second half. And uh, we'll see. I you know I'm excited. Um, which was a little more exciting today, but, you know, that's part of the development process. So, uh, yeah, no, overall, glad to be here. So a lot of us paid a lot of money to see this game, and you sold us on an idea of Manchester City. Um, that wasn't Man City. That was a youth academy team. I, I bet maybe one of us can name a player. Zinchenko played a little. Sané walked around for a little bit. A lot of us drove pretty far to see this game, and the, the general consensus from the crowd is we're pretty disappointed. What was your ticket price? My ticket price? I was in the Bleeders, and I paid about 80. 
parking was 50, the scarf was 30. What did I see? I saw a bunch of boys walk around in Man City jerseys. It was pathetic, to be honest with you. So that's it from Soldier Field here in Chicago. City lose 1-0. There were a few changes, of course, in the second half. Nice to see Leroy Sane should a right, a right turn of pace at one point in that second half. But overall, the verdict's a little bit mixed, I suppose. Understandable, it's the first pre-season game. Not fully fit and certainly not a first-team squad. Interesting, shall we say that, about the game one? Game two is from New York, it's specifically in New Jersey. It takes place next midweek. I'm heading to New York in a couple of days. I will continue to do vlogs. I'll also do things on Twitter and on the Facebook page, which is Ian Cheeseman Forever Blue. So please follow me, subscribe me, look out for those different uh, things that are coming your way from the city tour of the USA. And thanks very much to George Parrish, Skip Hire, who have been supporting me on this trip. Thanks very much for your support and see you again soon.